Hello everybody, what's up? Resonator Zen here. This is news story time with every motherfucker. Yay! Um, so this will be a news story, but it'll be a news story with a little bit of a rant attached to it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and you can go to see the story because I'm not going to go verbatim like I usually do. So many of you may know that Obama has flip-flopped on the uh, issue of the abuse photos not being made public. Um... This is what it says in the article. The release of more photos of prisoner abuse by U.S. soldiers is of no benefit and may inflame opinion against the U.S. That's what Barack Obama says. <laughs> um, really, I, I mean, after Abu Ghraib, those photos coming out with the t pyramids of men, naked men on top of each other, really any other photos are not going to be that bad. Um... I mean, when you got a picture of a U.S. soldier fucking pointing to the pile of naked men and smiling with a cigar in their mouth, um, no other pictures are really going to piss people off more than those. So, I mean, you should really just release the pictures of the torture and say that this has gone on and we don't cond condone it and we're looking into punishments or reprimands for those people who have committed those uh, the abuses, and say that, but not just because it might harm national security when we're very uh, not secure at the moment because of our economic troubles and when we've got that going on and when uh, just things are generally going in a downturn, which they are improving, but <clears throat> they're they're progressing very slowly. But uh, and again. Really, we've done more horrible things in our past for people to be pissed off at, okay? Other than just pictures of abuses. Uh, um, really, I mean, there are other photos, there are other things we've done that have pissed off people in the past and in the present. Um, photos of American soldier abuses of power are not going to do anything. But seriously, if you let the public pictures go public, you say that these pictures happened, this was not under my administration, or this happened under my administration, but I'm going to look to rectify those mistakes made by those soldiers, or made by the people who ordered those, or that kind of thing. That's what you need to do. That's a good PR move. Not saying that you're not going to release the photos, it's just going to engender more hatred toward the United States, because people are going to go, oh, they're not publishing pictures of torture, and they're not, they're shrouding it in mystery, they're not public, public, publicizing those pictures, they're not addressing those pictures, and I mean, that might engender more hatred because it looks, it may look like we're trying to cover up something. But really, if you release those photos, and I haven't even seen any of them, uh, if you release any of those real photos and you address them, and you say, as I've said repeatedly in this video, if you release the photos and say, this happened under another person's watch, or it happened under my per, uh, watch, whenever it happened. Say, this is when this happened. I either had no control, or someone other had circumvented control, and stuff like that. That's really what you got to say. You can't just say, oh, I'm not going to release them because of uh, national security, when national security is so poor anyway. And when there's a lot of people still hating on the United States, even though Barack Obama's president, and that has alleviated some of the hatred around the world and is in, has really made friendships with other countries sort of uh, rebound from when they were bad during the Bush administration. But uh, just hiding the pictures is not good, not a good PR move, and it's not a good move within. United States wise, if you look at it just from a home front, I mean, many people are going to see this sort of like a George Bush type thing where it's like, oh, don't, you, you hate the troops or some shit. But you, you just got to really expose the pictures, explain the context, say that, say what you're going to say and, um, you don't defend what was happening in the photos or state your opinion on the photos and make them public transparency investigate the claims investigate the photos and make them public so people will have some sense of trust in the United States government a home and a, and abroad um all right 
So I'm going to, uh, regarding this topic, I really want to hear people's opinions, whether it be via video responses, comments, and I really do hope that people post some video responses so I can really get some other person's perspectives on the photos, whether they should not be released, should they be released, should they be discussed, should they not be discussed, that kind of thing. Alright, I really want to dialogue with people who have a different view than mine. And people who have the same view as mine, alright? But peace, love, harmony, and see you guys later when I go on another political rant. Peace out.